correct? And we are um, somewhere on the top. I forgot to. Yeah, I did mark it. Okay, we're up to the uh, uh, to Dain Demacho Shtar El Chavrei, which is the la- the word Dain is the last word in the line, and it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven lines down from the top of the page, approximately. Little base there, right? Little base there, Mishpat. Now, this case is also a case which I don't recall being brought in the Bible at all. Dain the Mochel Shtar Le Chavrei. If I'm Mochel my Shtar to you, in other words, I owe you owe me money and I'm Mochel the Shtar. So, Rabbi Chanachina, Rabbi Chanani, or Rabbi, I'm not sure exactly which Rish Ches this is. Let's say it's Rabbi Chanina, Rabbi Mona. Chanam Ar Mochel once said it's, 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 it's Mechila in and of itself without any further, once I'm Mochel the debt and the Shtar, that's, it's Nimcha. The Chorona, my dear, said, Lo Mochel the Mosle Shtar. It's not a valid Mechila until he gives him the Shtar. In other words, even if I say I'm Moichel the dead, it's a bunch of baloney. You know, it's just words until I actually give you the document in which the dead is written. Otherwise, it's not valid Mechila. Okay? Ten mono lezel uploini umes. Now, this is going, uh, this is actually, uh, to, um, going back in the Mishra. So, therefore, the Mashbiach takes the last three lines here, the last three lines of the Perak, at, what? What's wrong with, what's wrong with just words? Words don't work in Aloha. You, when you learn enough of Shas, then you'll see words in Allah are basically meaningless. You need Kinyonim. And here, in lieu of a Kinyon, you have to give the star. What about, about Ma'avah Peh? Ma'avah Peh is a, a separate thing. There's a transaction. Money exchanged hands. It's not words. Okay. Well, as you learn enough of Shas, I, I hate to pull age over you, but as you learn enough of Shas, you'll see that uh, that the words though, are relatively meaningless. Now, so anyway, the Mashbiach takes the last three word, three lines here, uh, cuts them from the last from the end of the parak, and puts them over here because they're going back in the Mishnah. It actually makes much more sense that way. So let's take the last three lines and cut them and paste them. It's new model each point. It's a quote from Mishnah. Give a so give money. The so and so umays, and the person giving the directive died. Eatnu lachar misa, you get after death. Rabbi Yamishim, Rabbi Babar, Memo said b'shchim mira umas nisa. Our mission, which said that that legitimate transaction is talking about a shchim mira, right? Person is dying, and therefore the command he gives to leave his money to somebody else is adhered to even after his death. Okay, now after we explain the mission, let's go and explain it right. So now we go back to where the asterisk is at the beginning of the line. About eight lines up from here. Tame one is a Leplonium Mason is a core from Abisa. Give money to so and so and he died. Imrata Yoshim Lakib, if the impediment, if the uh, Yoshim want to impede, they want to sort of, uh, uh, impede upon his transaction, this the giving the, the, the money to so and so, any claim, they're not, not allowed to do so. Now, ain't so Lamar goes out saying that Boimer Zakelo, if the person left with directive said, be Zoha for him. Bomeriskabalo, if he said, accept it for him. Because then, obviously, even during the lifetime, it's already considered to be uh, done. Right? Zakelo, Iskabalo, the Tzachio, it's not just Shlichu, it's Tzachio. So he already acquired it during the lifetime. The person to whom the gift is intended already acquired it during the lifetime of the person who's giving the gift. Right? That's obvious. So. What about the Shlichus? The person, the person would have given it. Person. He's dead. I know, but if he wasn't dead. But he's dead. But, uh, he, the guy is the shliach for. Him. You can't be a shliach for a dead man. What? A shliach, shluch shalom kamoso. The guy's dead, the shliach is dead. Kamoso, not kamoso. Yeah, kamoso, right. Kamoso. That's it. When he dies, any shliach he appointed terminates. Okay? So, um. He, because of Mish, the Rishchimra, Kiksuvim Surin Dami. That's a special oak of Shchimra, in Echanami. It's a Din de Rabbon. The Rabbon and Din, or the Shchimra should be able to arrange his affairs before he goes and die with peace of mind. Or, you know, perhaps survive because he has peace of mind. I was told that a will doesn't, a will doesn't work if, if he doesn't. A will, a will is something else. A will, this is really not a topic for, 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 for during the Ujjama year. But a will is not, a will does not work in Allah because a will, it works al Misa. Manda Shkimir is considered to take effect immediately. So it's a totally different Matthias. So, name it, so says, 
Tamal twenty so again the bride says Tamal twenty mates in Rossi Yarshim Laki if any claim if the Yarshim want to be to impede upon this they cannot. Of course, that's true when the Shechimira, the person who's, well, of course, when the person who gave the command, I should say, said, you acquire for him, accept for him. But it, the Mashbir says the next word, Hain, is Hachanami. And so it's, it's abbreviation should be Hachanami. Here, too, in this Brysa, it's all about Omar Rav of Armemel, Bishchimira Emas Nisa. It's talking about a shchiv meira. It's a shchiv meira, so the tenu in the tzav itself works in order to make it a valid transaction, and a valid valid transaction is effective immediately. In b'shchiv meira, says Mar in b'shchiv meira, but but oh, I goofed. I know I goofed. Sorry, the price goes on longer than I did than I said before. Let me go back. Tamon the plenty the plenty of mates. Imratzi Rashi Markim any 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 Ain't so Omar but Omer is okay, and it goes without saying. It's not the brisa goes on. This is all part of the brisa. So we said Tznu you give it, and it goes without saying. The brisa continues to say Boimer is okay, lo Boimer is kabelo. When you say be zoycha or be miskab mekabel for that individual, that's the end of the brisa. And on that, the Gemara comments Chachinami here too. Omer Rav of our Memel b'shchimer he said this brisa is also talking about where the guy was a shchiv meira. So it says more, wait a minute. In Bishchimra, if the price is about a Shchimra, Bahada ain't Sarchlamar Zakilo is Kabalo. In that case, it's Pashit. Obviously, you don't have to say uh, that Zakir and Mosif work. The, the, uh, of course. But Sarah Shchimra, Shchimra, the whole Takana was that Tnu works without Zakir and his Kabal. So what does this say? You don't have to say for state, so obviously Zakir and his Kabal work. Yes, so, what, it's, no, but it's a dumb statement. Of course, you know, Mana Shchimra. What are we, stupid? And a we always ask that question. It's true. Okay, so let's talk a question to ask. So I'm right, my man says, Kiam Tia, I sustained it. Uh, in other words, I explained the Brysa. Me the Omar Rabbi Baba Rabuna that the Nafkimina is like this. The reason why I said this is that Rabbi right, Barabuna said, Omar Rashem Rav, name of Rav. Also, this is a very well known halacha. Also, Gdivar, it's in the Bavli, of course, as well. Also, Gdivar, Shchimira, Kibari, Shekosa, Venosan. They made the Shchimira, whatever he says, as if he was a healthy guy who wrote and, and delivered the document. But who should make me a holy if he died? In other words, if he didn't die, he reneges, right? Haim Hivri Lo. Now, of course, the Gemara and Babasa, I know what the, happens in the Babasa and the Yushami, but the Babasa says only if he gave all of his property out, can he renege if he survives, right? Remember such a thing? If he gave all of his property out, they say he, he, he expects he's for sure going to die. That's why he distributed all of his property. He only part of his property, so then he can't renege even if he survives. Yusham is not coming out to Achillok right now. But Yusham is it's just a sidestepping the issue. But here... Well, the, here we want to say, Ensomar Ba'omer Zakalo is Kabalo, meaning in that case it works even if he survives. The Zakalo's Kabalo works if he survives as well. That's going to tell us a case where he survives. Haj Lachamevi Kabal. Next pair. Havemi Gem Dina Seyom. So he rings again for Chutzot. It's Bamad Bafonai Nechta Avalo Bafonai Nechta. I saw it written, but I did not see it signed. Before I nechta, I have a little before I nechta. I saw it signed, but I did not see it written. Before I nechta, kula, before I nechta, mchetio. I saw it written in its entirety and signed partially. I didn't see the whole thing. The, uh, bo- both witnesses only saw one. Before I net, you know, signing it. Before I nechta, mchetio, I saw half of it being written. Before I nechta, kula, even though I saw all of it being signed. Possible, all these cases are possible. He has to say, I saw the whole thing written and the whole thing signed. Now, these cases are complicated. One is going to discuss them in some length. One guy says it was written in front of me. The other guy says it was signed in front of me. Possible. One guy has to say both in front of me. What about Schneiderin Befanein and Nechtav? Two people say, and their witness is Mamish, right? That was written in front of us. The Echor, I mean, one says, before the next time in front of me was signed. Machlokas. Puzzle. Rabbanan say it's puzzle. Rabbiuda Machsh, Rabbiuda says it's kosher. Okay? So we will find out. Echor, I mean, before the next time, Bishnai, I mean, before the next time. If the Rabbiuda, if one says, before the next time, and two say before the next time, then, 
kosher. And it seems like everybody agrees in that case that it's kosher. And more is going to discuss all these cases. Nicha v'fanei nechta v'avalo v'fanei nechta. I understand in the case where one guy said v'fanei nechta, well, one guy said, I, in front of me it was written, but I, it wasn't signed. Oh, v'fanei nechta was signed in front of me, v'avalo v'fanei nechta. Uh, but I didn't, wasn't written in front of me, so, uh, 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 um, I'm sorry, I read that wrong. Sorry. I understand why it's a problem. person only saw the writing and not the signing. But but let's say you saw the signature and not the Ksiva. What's the big deal? Don't you, um, how do you sustain the get? By its uh, signatories, and he's coming and talking about the signatories. What do we care ultimately if he wrote, the, if he saw the writing of the get or didn't see the writing of the get? Lenin says, as long as he saw the signatures, that should suffice. Yeah, well, yeah. So you think about uh, 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 Lishma. So that's a, so basically, the more answers your answer. Oh, not exactly. Where it says, "Elo Rabbi Yudah, Rabbi Yudah, Paiso B'Tayfsit." Rabbi Yudah says, in fact. Well, I guess it is really the same thing. But it really says that you can't have pre-written gin because also the writing has to be lishma. Okay, tovus means you would have like a, you know, fill in the blanks type gin. Okay. It says Mara, wait a minute. The Rabbi Yudah b'chutz Um uh, 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 the the uh, how say that uh, uh, um, um, um. The, the, that's the reason of Mishnah. The Rabbi Yudah should be in Chutz Laaretz, uh, be Megarish be Eretz Yisrael. Um, uh, the, uh, it's really all part of one question, but I'm not sure exactly how to read it. I still don't know exactly how, how, how to read it. But, uh, what? Yeah, the Rabbi Yudah be Chutz Laaretz. Right. Even if you have a, you don't have both zukim, say the same thing. It's, you don't need. Mm, yeah, but that's the question. See, I don't know exactly the. Uh, uh, I don't know exactly how to punctuate it, but really the idea is that um, if that's the case, why you only need funny If you're afraid of the types they're getting, why are you afraid only? In chutz, bringing when again comes chutz laaretz eretz yisrael, why are you not afraid also internally in chutz laaretz and in eretz yisrael internally as well? Because we first made it, first parak, first parak says only say funny nechta, funny nechta when you bring get for chutz laaretz eretz yisrael. So if that's a problem, then you should have a problem even internally in eretz yisrael. So uh, I'm not sure exactly about the but let's try and uh, use a few st- steam shovels here. We write either bechutz laaretz. Rabbi Yudah was only talking about Chutz Laaretz. What about Megarish Beretz Yisrael? Yeah, it's been types of getting the Chutz Laaretz. Been Megarish the Chutz Laaretz. It's the only types of getting. Uh, and is there no types of getting in Chutz Laaretz when you're Megarish to Chutz Laaretz? In other words, you're only saying that from Chutz Laaretz. I see. Let me try it a different way. Rabbi Yudah the Chutz Laaretz been Megarish Beretz Yisrael. Is Rabbi Yudah limit his statement then to some of your rotors getting Chutz Laaretz in order to be Megarish in Eretz Yisrael? The eight types of getting mechutz laaretz from garish mechutz laaretz aren't there. The, the, also, a problem of uh, you know a blank fill in the blank getting when you're megarish in chutz laaretz to have the the get the living chutz laaretz. Why specifically when it pertains to Eretz Yisrael? Well, it should also pertain to to internally chutz laaretz. So therefore, that can't be the reason. It can't be because that we're afraid that um, um, uh, we're afraid that. Um, the uh the of types of getting rather must be a uh a um it, well, it must be a difference for her. And it's he's saying uh, rather what's the svara? Achiye dashu get isha and achiye dashu nasa shliach. So uh uh the person has to know that this what what he has here is a get and he must know that he's a shliach. You do not know that it's fully a get until the entire thing takes place in front of you. Where it's a whole kula of funny nechta, funny nechta pertains to a get. In order to know it's a proper get, you have to see the entire ksiva and the entire, um, and the entire, uh, 
Chasima. Otherwise, it's not going to be a proper shliach, and otherwise, they're not considered to be a proper shliach on a get, and therefore, you lose your capacity to say funei nechtam or funei nechtam. So it's part of the Chachamim when they gave this nemonis to an individual, they gave him nemonis him only on the circumstances in which he's yodeh get, and what does yodeh get mean? That he is aware that he was uh, present for the entire procedure. Okay. Um, Tani Rav Chanan, Rav Chanan said, however. This is a similar thing in the Bible. He doesn't have to be there literally the whole time. So it's like by Ashkochus, right? You don't have to be there the whole time. You can co- go in and come out, right? So to here, you can go in and come out occasionally. He doesn't have to be present in the room the entire hours that they're writing to get. Rabbi Yossi, boy, Rabbi Yossi has a question like this. Omar, funny nechta, but funny nechta. He said, funny nechta, but funny nechta. Ellen, Yisiachi, Bishus, Abay, Mixiv, Lachazimo. However, the get was left. Between the Ksiv and the Chasima, in, in the hands of the, uh, of the, uh, of the, of the, um, Balashtar. So, in other words, at a certain time when the get was not being supervised, when it's not Shkoch Admidis, right? There was a certain time when it was not being supervised. So, what's the status? Okay, and, and that time was between the writing and the sign. I'm just going to turn on the air because I'm going to. See? Eighty was eighty-one degrees here. I don't know if it was eighty-one, but okay. Okay. So, um, so, uh, so, so, in this case, let's try to learn it out from here. The shmini minado. So, for the case, echon amar fani nechta, echon amar fani nechta, impossible. It says if one guy says funny nechtav and the other guy says funny nechtam, it's no good. Now it sounds like I mean, it's only no good when they say echon amar funny nechtav, but echon amar funny nechtam because one guy said it was written in front of me and the other guy said it was signed in front of me. Avli imar amar funny nechtav, funny nechtav. What if the same guy said funny nechtav and funny nechtam? Al shiis yachem b'shus abay mekzivul chasima. But it was within the uh, the uh, the jurisdiction of the husband between writing and signing that it's kosher. In other words, you should have told me bigger condition. That's no good. And the reason, of course, is because the uh, husband has time to tamper with it. Then husband could have substituted another get. Husband could have done all sorts of hanky panky. So therefore, uh, the, if 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 it's not only a case where you two separate aid him, one on the ksiva and one on the chasima. That I can't join them together and say that they work a, a, as as uh, as one, mm. but even in a case where it's the same guy, it's just that there was a break between the chasiv and the chasima. They should have told me the mission of much bigger chiddush. The same guy with a break cannot be in, uh, cannot uh, cannot uh, testify. It's cannot they say for an effort for an effort because it wasn't an ongoing direct thing without without any break in the middle. Right. So that's why we say, uh, but we do the maskana. We say attack is not a problem, even if it was in the husband's hand between chesiv and chasima. So our mission obviously doesn't hold the problem because our mission should then have specified that. Okay. So it says the gemara. Uh, uh, Rav Chitz the boy. Rav Chitz asked the, the in, uh, uh, an interesting question. The interesting question is, boy, chetzio mitakona. If half of the get has to do with a takona, the chetzio mitivator, one of them is, then half of the get has to do with divaytora. What, what's the difference between the takona and the divaytora? We're going to explain. Meaning, Omar before I nechta, before I nechta. He said before I nechta, before I nechta. Now, the, the ksiva and chasima were straight and direct. It was it went immediately from the Ksiva to the Chasima, and he uh, 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 he he signed. He saw the the writing, and he saw immediately afterwards the the signing. However, after the writing and the signing, so then El Shisiachim Rishus Bailim, it was given into um, into the uh, into the hands of the owner after it was written and signed. Right? It's after it was written and signed. So then we say 
uh, uh, w- well, uh, I should say that uh, what's the Rabbanon, what's the, the Raisa here? The uh, uh, the Rabbanon issue is Befarei Nechta, Befarei Nechta, right? But in a Torah, you need to have two witnesses. You need to have two complete witnesses. So therefore, the Shemini Me'adah, you'll see how it develops here. Shemini Me'adah, let's learn out from here. Echor HaMer Befarei Nechta, Befarei Nechta, Apostle. If one guy says before I nechtav and before I nechtam, the other meaning another guy says before I nechtam, then it's possible, right? Why it's possible? Because one says written in front of me and one says sign in front of me. I'm going to write before I nechtav and before I nishatim. But uh, the implication of that is that if one guy says in front of me, it was written, and in front of me it was signed. But it was in the owner's authority for a certain light amount of time after the uh, my signature. Kasha, that's okay. Now I assume that the case, the, the issue is like this. Of course, if it was in the hand, the, the reason why we had a half a minute to say that if it's in the hands of the owner at any time, it's a problem is because it's not then tamper proof, right? Right. So it's, it's not tamper proof. So at that time. The owner might tamper with it. So we're saying in this, these two, two, two state, statements tomorrow, we're not really afraid of the owner's tampering. Now, the truth is, the second case is, is less of, is, uh, is less of a finish. The second case, they didn't raise signs, so they'll recognize their names. Unless somebody you know, learns how to forge a signature very quickly, right? So therefore, in that case, since they raised signs, would seem more partial. That even if it was in Rashus Bailim after their signature for some period of time, still the get is valid get. The Kiddush is more in the ratio, in the first case, where the get was was given to the Bailim in the middle between the Ksima and Ksima, where the get ate him and not had even seen, seen it to, to, that they can recognize the names in retrospect, that even that is okay. That's a bigger Kiddush. Is there a time period for this, in this Kiddush? I mean, where, how, how long can the Bailim have in their possession? It doesn't say. But la- later on, actually, we're going to see that overnight it's a problem. So it'll probably take about a few hours, not overnight. Okay? Okay? What's going to be the difference between a couple of hours and a little bit? We'll see. No, no, actually, it's not tampering. We'll see. It's not a tamper issue. That'll be about, that's coming up in a blog. Okay? So it says, um, uh, Rabbi Elozer, um, Rabbi Avin, boy. Rabbi Lezer said in the name Rabbi Avin. We asked for Rabbi Avin. Uh, Amar Bufane Nechtav, Ufane Nechtam, Beid Echor. He said, one witness said, Bufane Nechtam, Bufane Nechtam, one of the witnesses. Well, actually, one person said, I saw the get written. And one eight size sign in front of me. Which nine meet him on Chasimus out of eight is saying, and two people come from the marketplace and say that the second signature is the signature of the, uh, um, is the signature of the person involved. Is, uh, so, so the guy, one guy says, funny nechta, funny nechta, but that's, he's going on one eight. And the other eight, there, there, uh, the other eight on the document, there are two people. But the mice, there's only half testimony then on the document itself that was written in Lishma, right? What? Yeah, one eight. One eight. It says, Fane Nechta, Fane Nechta. And the other, uh, it's uh, only one witness on the document and one witness on the one eight. There are two witnesses on the other eight. I'm Rabbi Ayin Bavlai. Rabbi Ayin Bavlai said, Ain't kosher on top of his Yudah mouth. Ain't kosher on his There's nothing as kosher as this case. This case is super duper kosher. Why it's super duper kosher? Because in this case, now does one guy say funny nechta, funny nechta, but on the other guy we have to aid him, right? So that makes it much better. Normally we have to lie in the guy that says funny nechta, funny nechta for the entire entire uh, kitten caboodle. But here we're just relying on him for one of the witnesses. The other witnesses we have other witness sign a document. We have two witnesses testifying that signature. So that should be a much, uh, this is a much better case than a regular case. Says my Rabbi Abba said, 
Rabbi Abba Lo Amar Kam. Sorry, Rabbi Abba did not say this way. Top of Yudam Rav. Elo Rather, he said, Amar Vefanei Nechta Vefanei Nishchate Beit Echot Vani Hu Aid. A guy says, Vefanei Nechta Vefanei Nechta I'm any way to Shani. And I'm the second witness. A guy says, Vefanei Nechta Vefanei Nechta I'm the one aid. And I am the second aid. I am the second aid. Is that the case? It says I'm not. I'm only one of the two witnesses, but I. But I'm the one who signed number one, and I also testify that the document itself was written properly, and that. But I'm the second. The second witness, and I. I, I goofed again. No, he's the second witness. He comes and says I testify in the first witness that before I that that he legitimately signed it. And of course, I testify on the document that the document was legitimately written, right? So far, so good. I again it says Vaniwa Ein Hasheni, and I am the second witness. I am telling you that the get is a valid get. So in the court, in this case, we should have a valid uh, get, right? Not not. Ruvain says, no, actually, Shimon says. I was there when the Seifer wrote the document and Ruvain signed it. And I'm Shimon. Okay? And I signed the second the signature. Second. What? And I'm also the second aide. I'm also the second aide, so right. He's the, he's the second aide for the Fasima and he's the only aide for the Ksiva. Right. And the first witness. He's the only aide for the first witness, yeah. But the Fasima is more important than... Isn't that what the mission says? The Ksiva is more, the is more important yeah. than the Ksiva? Yeah. So then it should but, be kosher. No, it's not. So Gemara says, Nasa Kunogebe do so. We're afraid, since the whole thing is being done by him, we're afraid he's going to, uh, you know, he's going to mess up our testimony. Okay, so that's where it's different than the, than the uh, safe level. What it is doing? Yeah. What? What it is doing? Normally it is. But here, since he's the one of the eight, and he can't bring it. The Yushami, the Babi actually has a discussion of this, whether Shliach Nasa eight or ain't Shliach Nasa eight. And the Yushami, the Babi actually... No, no, let's say, so let's say he's there. We still have the one guy who says... Nobody else says funny enough, we only have this one guy. So, so the Babi says... What? No. Well, for what are you going to get? Yeah, you got to get a... Uh, count him for his own signature that he signed it. So we That's all he can do, right? We no, but he's not believed on the first signature. He's believed on his own signature, but not on the first guy's signature. Oh. He's the A. Cheney, not the A. Risha. Not to make the difference, you probably could reverse the numbers, but that's what it says here. So, hey, that's what it says. Come on, eh? Uh, uh, bar bar bar. Let's say there were four the four witnesses to sign on the get. And so guy says Two witnesses I saw. Elan Tri and Koran the other two, Lena Yoda Maskio and I have no idea what they're doing here. I don't know how they got here. Uh, uh, they better not be above the ones he's certifying, right? But I don't know how they got there. Tiflutha Yohan Shimon Lakish. This is my little Sir Yohan Shimon Lakish. We're actually going to have uh, uh, next plot. Uh, the Spalg and they argued. Homer last story for a person said to ten people, Chismu Beget, sign a get. Vuchtu Mu Mixas and Ayom Mixas and Macha. And some of them signed the day, and the day which get was issued, and some of the next day, Mixas and Macha. Rishloge Shemar Kosher, Rishloge says the get is still kosher. Why? Because Vashar. E- even though there, he specified ten witnesses, he really meant for two to be witnesses and the eight to be icing on the cake, so they could sign tomorrow, right? But shout tonight, they're conditional and therefore not necessary. Rabbi Yonichan, no, possible. All ten have to sign that day, otherwise it's possible. Why? Because we assume that he wanted that integral component of his get. Okay, so we have to fill his riches. Am Rabbi Yami. Okay, so that's the end of that. Now the, uh, so that means there's, uh, 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 excuse me. The the um uh, as that means is a machlok is this what's gonna happen when you have four witnesses on the, and again you only recognize two of them. You don't know who the other two are, so then it's gonna have the same machlokus, right? Yeah. 
really, because he didn't need, he didn't say I want four witnesses. The four happen to be there, two plus two. We don't know what he said. He's dead. So then we don't know exactly what he specified. Okay? So, hey, man, so the question is whether you want two out of four or, well, whatever you agree. Yeah. Okay? Uh, to prevent Ibu. So it should be Skukli Ibu. Um, uh, Rabbi Yohamar Posa Chiyachim Ubayo, we just said. All right. Om Ravami. Ravami said, now this uh, this actually uh, goes back to our mission. It's a little bit complex. I'm going to follow the read Baz more or less with my own minor deviations. We have a mission. We have a look at Sabina Rabbana. Look at Sabina Rabbana concerned a case where the the um, um, two people said for a nechtav and one person said for a nechtav. Two are on the writing, one on the signing, right? So far, so good. So the machlokas are even on whether it's kosher or not. Is only if the shliach who says the funny nechtam, the one guy who says the funny nechtam, is holding on to the get, right? Because then he gets the validity. Chazal gave that nemonis to guys holding on to the get. Okay. However. Um, if one of the two witnesses who is testifying the Ksiva did says, uh, is holding out to it, off and here the Mashbia, the Ridbaz changes this line with the line, three lines from now. Af Rabbi Yehuda Maideshu Puzzle. Not Rabbi Yehuda says it's Rabbi Yehuda Maideshu Kacha. But here can see it's Puzzle. Why? Because if the Ede Ksiva are holding on to the document, Oy Vahavoy, how can we believe the Ede Chasima? It's not really Eid Chasima. If the uh, or the aid the aid the with the people the agents who saw the writing of the document holding on to the get, so there's no special credibility granted to the one to, to has the Eid Chasima. Why? He doesn't have the document, right? What? In this case, the. Um, Dating right. Siva, right. Dating was the writing. But it's a separate cut, separate group. Have the, have the witnesses signed yet? Have they been... Yeah. Has there been Siva? Sure. So what difference does it make? Who's holding it? Once the Siva has been done, and you have any Siva, right? Joe no Pook. Now, Brennan said uh, you have to have Pane Nechta, Pane Nechta, even though you have the uh, Siva's already. Okay. So again, my Bible said, "My plea, Yehuda tells you, although if the Edom Chasim have it, Yehuda tells you the Achim it's covered the Edom Chasim have it. After Rabbi again changes the Gersa, after Rabbi Yehuda Moses should puzzle, Rabbi Yehuda also so concedes that it's kosher, it's puzzle. Okay, Rabbi Chanan, now that's one version in Rabbi Ami. Rabbi Chanan and rather the Rabbi Ami, Om Rabbi Zir, Chanan said the name Rabbi Ami and Rabbi Zir said as well. And here Rabbi Ami allegedly reneged that Bonham's previous opinion and says he. He reneged. He changed his mind. Reneged. That's an English word, not a Hebrew word. So he reneged on what, on what he held previously. And he says, Where could there be a machlok? When the Eid HaKasim are holding on to it. And maybe the Eid HaKasim still have some. The Eid HaKasim is one guy. It's not really an Eid. You know, I keep making the mistake. It's not an Eid, right? It's a Shliach. So Shliach was saying funny nechta, but he still keeps calling him an aide. He's not an aide. He's a Shliach who tells us it's written in front of him or a sign in front of him. Okay? So that Shliach is, is a, I call aides because it's like aides, but it's not really aides. So it's important to remember. Because he has to testify that he saw it take place. Otherwise, we don't, uh, we don't match it again. Okay? Let me just get a cup of soda. Soda bar. Somebody else want soda?
They're just a shrine. They're going to burn in hell. But they're not. They don't get any punishment. But to so it's in the shiat yachol Of course, it's in the shiat yachol azim because it's not edus. That's what I was just saying. That's what I was explaining. It's not edus. It's a nermonus which Chazal gave short of edus. They only gave to the guy holding on to the get. Right. It's not edus. Nermonus is not edus. Nermonus means credibility. It's not the same as edus. They only gave it to a guy. Also, it's holding on to get, and rather, as the Gemara said before, she will dare, she will get. So that's why we're having this whole sugya as to what's, if Ede Ksiva, you know, if they only saw the, uh, the, the Ksiva, the, the Shluchim and not the Chasima. So, uh, they're not really witnesses. Although, that, that, tr- that also is not true. I need to modify that as well. Because if there are two of them, then they could be witnesses. Right? If it's one, it's not a witness, it's Nemonus. If it's two, it could be witnesses. And the Bavli here in this Sugya makes a big deal out of that. The Bavli does. Not because of Eidah Shatayach Azima, but rather because it says, well, all kinds of Eidah Manamutsuit Lakaimo, right? So therefore, if Eidah Manamutsuit Lakaimo, if two people come and they could be Eidim, so then Eidah Manamutsuit Lakaimo, so you don't need Fane Nechta. But the Usham is not, not dealing with that so directly, right? The Usham is not dealing with whether there's an Eid Echot or, 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 or two Eidim, whether Shliach Echot or two Shluchim. Let's say there is two Eidim. And they do what? So uh, whatever they want to be Mopsi, the Isha, they made the way clear. It's not capital crime. Whatever they're going to be Mopsi, the Isha, the Isha. Okay, so they wouldn't pay anything, right? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. So we get Marcus. We get Marcus. You're hung up on Marcus. You hung up at Marcus. See, it's the first masech that you really learned. So therefore, this whole uh, your your whole outlook on shots is Marcus. We you know, Okay, it's good. It's good. It's good. Okay, so. Uh, so says the Gemara. Um, again, uh, uh, let's, let's take it from Am Rabbi Ami. Rabbi Ami said, "Ma pligin six lines on the bar. Ma pligin biyotim mitachus yoto. It's only if it's it's only if it's only if the guy who's who's the the, the shliach who saw the chasima." Says the Pane Nechtam that that Rabbi Yehuda can contend that it's kosher. But it's coming from even two who saw only the Ksiva, ah, it should be Rabbi Yehuda Moedish Apostle. And that can see Rabbi Yehuda means it's possible. Again, I'm switching uh, because, uh, because that's what it buys to us. Why? Because the Chasima is Ikra of the Get. So the guy who saw the Chasima is one guy. He's got to have Nehmonus. How can he have Nehmonus? Only if he's got to get in hand. He doesn't have to get in hand. The other guy's got it. So how can he match it? So to get it, even Rabbi Yudu would possible it. Okay? Then Rabbi Hanani, the Rabbi Ami, or Rabbi Zira, Rabbi Hanani said, Rabbi Ami said like Rabbi Zira. Ma pligin, when did this machlok, for punk vaker, the exact opposite. Ma pligin, when is there the machlok, is Rabbi Yudha Rabbonan? Be yoytzi mitachas de acher. If the Eide Ksiva, the, the, uh, the two people who saw the Ksiva, they're not Eide Ksiva, there's no such thing. The two people who saw the Ksiva are the ones who are holding on to the get. Avol, however, be yoytzi mitachas yodo. If the one guy saw the Chasimah and he's the Shliach to say, Bane Nechta, if he's all the odds of the cat, Af, and here we, we complete the switch, Af Rabbana and Moidudu Kosher, even Rabbana agree that that's kosher. Why is that for sure kosher? Because then he has the rights to say before I nechta. He's a classic shliach. He's holding on to a cat. He can say before I nechta. Hi, what about before I nechta? And now we have two, two people who come in and say that. That's fine. Okay? So now, says the Gemara, 
Mace Rabbi Zira Rabbi 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 Zira asked Rabbi now it's not clear the names here are very confusing because on the one hand and some of them try and sort it out but it's hard to sort out because the first statement is Rabbi Ami the second statement is Rabbi Ami one has Rabbi Zira one doesn't have Rabbi Zira so the main thing to do is just try and forget the names even though you can't because you'll have to remember them on the base but nevertheless Rabbi Zira asked Rabbi Ami he said, "In biyotzi mitachas yodai." If it's talking about a case where, it, it fundamentally, you say that a case where it's coming out from under his hand, that rabbiudas uh, rabbiudas machshir, right? So in that case, I feel it come aisa. Rabbiudas should be machshir even in the first case. Our first case mission, nobody said it's kosher. What's the first case in our mission? One guy says b'fani nechtav, another guy says b'fani nechtav. So according to Rabbi Ami, according to the second shot in Rabbi Ami, so consist uh, to be uh, that should be kosher as well, because the guy who says funny nechtam, he's got a document, right? It says funny nechtam, and he's he's holding on to it, and he's the acre because Chasim is the acre. So what's the problem? Why is he not believed? Yet it's said in Mishnah, everybody agrees. The Rishon says before I hold my funny nechtam, the echod I my funny nechtam. It's no good. How come? At least in the case of the guy that says, putting out, is holding out the shard, should be good. So it says you shall be very coolly. I said, Rabbi Ami, Rabbi Yoyna. Rabbi Ami brought the, the question to Rabbi Yoyna, Chamoy's father in law. Father was a good for something. The Tana lady thought it was a fine price, huh? They're good for other things. In case my father in law ever hears the tape. The Tana lady thought it was a. It's Tana for God in presence of fathers in law. The Tanale Echodimer Tanale Tanale the Tanale and he taught him Echotaka is such a brisa. Sintarasan. There's a brisa which argues on Amishta. Right? So therefore the there's Taka Bryce says explicitly. Echramer funny nefta, Echramer funny nechta, puzzle, Rabbana says puzzle, a beauty marsh. A beauty says Taka's kosher. So your question was if Rabbiudah's machshir, in a case where the guy is holding on to the the, 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 the document that says it's funny nechtam, so we should find such a case and then we should say so in the ratio and it says it's funny nechtam. So we found a price which holds our way. So that's good. We, we have our logic is sound. I'm Rabbi Avin. Rabbi said. Rabbi Avin said. Lishon mazdisim esel Rabbi Zira. Nevertheless, the language of our Mishnah is the right to Rabbi Zira's kasha. Because the uh, language of our Mishnah is bizu Rabbi Yudah It sounds like only in a case where you have two witnesses on Mephanei Nechtam. And one guy on Mephanei Nechtam, specifically in that case, the, the, the two witnesses meaning two shluchin on Mephanei Nechtam. And one shluchin is boiling. So, uh, so therefore the, uh, so therefore the, uh, the, um, so therefore, we, we need to explain our mission on its own terms, and you, you can't bring in a price that, which is going to justify a position. The mission does not sound like your position. Now, Bakasha Rabbi Zira. So now the question is on Rabbi Zira. And again, as I said, the names are very difficult to, to make head and to tail of, and everybody f- fools around with the names. I'm just going to ignore names. So, yeah, because the, 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 the mission itself is structured, and the ratio nobody argues. We're reluctant to say that we'll introduce a brisa, which is, you know. You can't say chisur and No, first of all, the, I don't. I don't think the shaman ever uses chisur and It's a godly tool, chisur and right? So far. Yeah, I don't think he ever loses chisur and Yeah, right. Well, well, we had many opportunities, but so we don't do we don't do chisur and but secondly, here wouldn't really be a chesur machzor. Oh, I guess it could have been. You're right. Uh, we don't have to chesur. Well, we say the mission was missing something. The Gemara says the mission was missing something. It adds on something. Okay. The, the, the Bavli. The they amend it. They don't. They don't add it. They say kini masnisin. They say this is the way to read the mission, which is an emendation. Menachesuri machzor. Doctor, that wants us to put something in. 
says we'll put in the ratio that this that the well, the is Machshir is also going on the ratio, not just on the uh, safer. It's not changing the gear, so it's it's adding on. So we well, we never find such thing in Shalmi. Says Rabbi Kasha, Rabbi Zira. We have a question, Rabbi Zira. Now, by the way, I, I should tell you the lumbus of the Ritbaz. The Ritbaz has a whole lumbus here, which is, is, is a long Ritbaz here, which is nice, and I, I based, based most of my understanding this one on the Ritbaz, but he says that the, the Machlokas in Rabban Rabira is whether you need to have Haggadah and Hava by the same person, or you can have Haggadah Luchud and Hava Luchud. Haggadah means the Bafan and Nechdam, and the Hava means holding on to the get. So a bond and hold, you have to have Hagada and Hava together. The same guy who says Fane Nechta, Fane Nechta's got to be holding Fane Nechta, Fane Nechta, where it's got to be holding on to the get. But Rabbi Yehuda Chayach, Rabbi Yehuda holds, or, uh, or, or I shouldn't say Rabbi Yehuda, Rabbi Yehuda, but um, among Rabbi Yehuda and Rabbi Ami, the Machlokas is, uh, that uh, whether... Well, whether you need Haggadah and Hava by the same person, and therefore only if the guy who says Befane Nechtam is holding on to the get is it Shaykh, then in that case Rabbi Yudah was Machshir. Or I can even have Haggadah by one and Hava by the other guy, in which case it's possible Rabbi was Machshir, even in the case where the guy saying Befane Nechtam is holding on to the get and the other guy is saying Befane Nechtam. Right? Again, you need Haggadah and you need Havva. Saying that it's good and bringing a good get. So the question is, are those two things linked or not? And that is my focus Rabbi Zira and Rabbi Ami and how to understand our Mishnah. Okay? So it says, um, uh, Bikasha Rabbi Zira. It's similar to Rabbi Zira. In Biyasim Tazi Acher. Rabbi Yassi's, uh, 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 Rabbi Asi, Rabbi Zira said that even in a case where the Fanai Nechtav guy is holding on to the get, according to Rabbi Huda, the Fanai Nechtam guy is kosh is okay. Rabbi Ami refused to accept such a thing. He said, no, there's no way that's okay. Even according to Rabbi Huda, it's got to keep that the Fanai Nechtam guy is holding on to the get. Rabbi Zira said, even if the the Fanai Nechtav guy is not holding on to the get. Oh, the Fanai Nechtav guy is. Nevertheless, it could be a valid get based on the, the combination of the two of them. What is the, what is the what is the hmm? What is the Okay, so it uh, so, so it says Mark, it's kasha, we see here, in the item towns here, the day after. If the guy who's saying, Bifanai Nechtav is right in front of me, he's holding on to it. Bado, I take out the word blow away. You can fetch it in, but it, let's just take it out. Bado, also, also, Kishtaim. Well, in this case, it's going to be like two. The whole concept of Bifanai Nechtav, Bifanai Nechtav is we made the Shliach like two. But when do we make the Shliach like two? But he's holding on to again. Like, like the Gemara said back on Tesla Base. Be audacious, they are get. But here is not only on the get, how can you possibly give them money? See, because Rabbi Huda, why can Rabbi Huda, how can he be maxed with such a thing? So it says, and furthermore, let's continue the question. Amos, I also also, Kishnaim, Bismarck, Shumayak, Siva, Vachasima, when is he, where is he, when he's considered to be like two? When he testifies on both the Siva and the Chasima, right? Now this is a a, 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 sec, a separate question. One question is it has to be the other. The other question is the funny nechta, but funny nechta can only work if the guy is actually holding on to it. So how are we going to say in this case? Uh, uh, God, I'm sorry. If the guy says he's satisfying both on the chasim and the chasima. So how possibly if the one the 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 the, the guy saying or the guys saying the funny nechta or to the get can the guy who's saying the funny nechta be believed, excuse me, it makes no sense. And Mark doesn't really answer it. Rabbi Asa B'Shem Rabbi Yochanan said, although the one, I guess the one does really answer, but not, not completely, I'm not sure. Let's, let's see how this uh, actually works out. Rabbi Asa B'Shem Rabbi Yochanan said, um, in a case, now according to Rabbi Asa, about a case where one guy says the funny nechtav, the reverse will be told you until now. One guy says the funny nechtav, 
and two guys say Bifanenu Nechtam. Okay? Uh, so Rabbi Yasim Shem Yochanan said, Ubiyotzi Mitachas Yodo. In this case, where the guy in front of whom it was, was signed was holding on to the get, so then the get in this case is kosher. Okay? It said the guy, but the guys, right? The guys of the same fun in Nachtam. But I Rabbi Zira Mistakabe, so Rabbi Zira is looking at him funny, right? Because he said, because Rabbi Zira is the one who holds that even if the get is being held by the fun in Nachtam guy, that's good enough, right? So here it's, uh, here it's looking at Rabbi Yochan, what are you, nuts? You're making the guy who says the fun in Nachtam hold on to it? What, what for? And here it's even worse because there are two guys who say before I nechtam. So madoch, I give them money to before I nechtam if the if he's a single guy, and it's the other guys who say before I nechtam who are holding on to the get. Alachas come or come if there are two guys saying before I nechtam, right? Then I'm going to give them uh, their money. So why do I have to? Why are you saying that besides that he has to hold on to the get? It makes no sense, right? Again, I Rabbi Zira Maksha, even if oh, there's there's one guy saying funny nechtam and he's not holding on to it, and here you're saying that even if two guys say funny nechtam, he's got to be holding on to it in order for it to work. That's ludicrous. It's much too machmir. Well, he's not contradicting himself. He's just um, and if it's for sure, if it's the uh, the two guys, uh, the first two guys are holding, then certainly the second two guys are holding. No. So, no, no, of course it's okay. But Rabbi Yochan saying it's like only this case is okay. Who? Meaning only specifically this case. That's what he didn't like, right? I'm like, Rabbi Yochan said, I'm not going to talk about it. Stop looking at me funny. Right? I feel yay, uh, 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 I feel yay to be the, uh, uh, so, so Rabbi Zero said, well, actually said, why are you looking at me funny? Because so Rabbi Zero explains, I feel yay to be the, uh, 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 because I hold, even if the Befane Nechtav guy is holding on to it, that suffices. I said Rabbi Yossi, so this statement in the name of uh, the Rabbi Yasa, it says Rabbi Yossi, really is Rabbi Yasa, so it must be the Befane Nechtav guy is, ho- is holding on to it, or one of the two Befane Nechtav guys is holding on to it, that's Rabbi Ami Adlo Yasebe. That's the Rabbi Ami, both statements are now from main name Rabbi Ami. So the Gemara is saying the second statement named Rabbi Ami, which was Rabbi Zero's name, Rabbi Ami, was Rabbi Ami after reneged. And Rabbi Yasa here is saying like Rabbi Ami be- before he changed his mind. And Rabbi Yasa is saying like Rabbi Ami before Rabbi Ami changed his mind. And Rabbi Ami, before he changed his mind, held that Dafka of the Fanei Nechtam guy or guys are holding on to it, or they believe, not if the Fanei Nechtam guy is holding on to it. In that case, it's not believed. Okay? So that's what the Gemara says. All right, my Rambam said no. If you mean the chazer be'asri, the truth is that even it can even work out after after he was chazer. Hi, after he was chazer, he holds that Rabbi Zira. Rabbi Zira says even if the v'fanai nechtav guys are holding on to it, it's okay. You don't need the v'fanai nechtav guys hold on to it. Says my no. Shani, here it's different. Ksiva v'shnayim, chasima v'shnayim. The Ksiva, uh, t- uh, you, you can have two in the sun, and Chasima can have two in the sun. Chasima b'shtayim kocham yupeh. If you have a, uh, uh, the Chasima in two, then it's, uh, the, uh, it's, uh, the strength is fortified. Chasima b'shtayim, if the Ksiva is in two, and kocham yupeh, I have no idea what I just read. My mind is totally blank. What is the answer to what is the thing? I am. I obviously understood it when I wrote my note here on the side. <laughs> now I don't remember what I how I understood it. One second. What do you want? I lost it. I don't remember how I answered it. One second. Um, 
suppose I put a little bit of a change of gear for here. Uh, um, I'm not sure exactly because I have no recollection of how I understood it. I, but I, 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 I we're saying it's like this. We're saying is that obviously in the case, if you want to make it work out, Rabbi Yochum work out with Rabbi Zira, we need to say the Rabbi Yochum holds, Rabbi Yochum holds like Rabbi Zira, meaning that, uh, uh, that even though in the case, so I, 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 maybe if I talk it through, I can say I can reconstruct. Let me talk it through. The first case we're talking about, An Omar Alva, is a case of where two witnesses, two shluchim come and say, Fonenu Nechtam. And one shaliach comes and says, Fonenu Nechtam. So there, Rabbi Reb- Zira said, even if the Fonenu Nechtam guys are. Fonenu Nechtam guys. Nechtam, right. Nechtam, let's say. Even if the Fonenu Nechtam guys are holding on to it, then they, the, uh, even in that case, it works, the get works. Right? Because the funny Nichtav guys, even though the funny Nichtav guys are according to Yudah, of course, not according to Abundant. Because even though the funny Nichtav guys are the ones who are holding on to the, to, to the get, nevertheless, Chazal said in this case it works. Here, however, where there's one Bifanai Nichtav guy, and there's two Bifanai Nechtam guys, even though the Befanai Nechtam guys are holding on to it, I mean, I'm sorry, in this case, it only works if the Befanai Nechtam guys are holding on to it. Why? Right, so that's what was Mar's question. Mar's question is that this should work with the, what are you talking about? Of course, this should be better, right? Because the Befanai Nechtam guys are holding on to it. But obviously, in this law, obviously at this point, the Gemara is saying, That that's the Shiloh. That was the Shiloh. That was Rabbi Zira's that's how Rabbi Zira looked funny, Rabbi Yochan says the, even the funny Nechtab guys holding on it should work. But now now the Gemara is trying to say no. In, the, in this case, if the Bifanai Nechtab guy is holding on to it, it won't work. Why the funny Nechtab guy is holding on to it won't it work? So it says Mar Rabbi Bana Filum in the Khazab Asya, he uh works out. Shani he ksiva bishnaim, the chasima bishnaim. When you have two people on the ksiva, the, uh, it's different than two people on the chasima. Chasima bishnaim, when you have two people on the, the, the chasima, then koichom yupe. The, uh, the, the, um, if the, you have two guys and the chasima, Plus, they're holding on to the document. Yeah, it works. If you have, now, it's going to work. If you have two guys on the chasima, plus they're holding on to the get, so koicham yupa, the whole get is uplifted by that. But then, what, what else do you need? You have two guys on chasima, and holding on to the, to, to the, to, to the star. Everything is gewaldic. But, Uksiva bishnaim. If you have two guys holding on to uh, two guys on the ksiva, and they're holding on to the doc, they're holding on to the get. Then in that case, en koychem yupe. That's not going to work. Now, the the case, the the uh, uh, no, so much. See bishnaim en koychem yupe. I have to change the gear stuff. It's not gonna work. And that it's not it's not gonna work unless I change it. So let me change it like that. I I'm gonna have to are there four people altogether. No, there are three. There are three. There are only three. So in the first case you have one A Siva and two A B That's this case. In the case the first case is about two A D Siva. And one one shliach on the chasima. And who's holding on to the get? The, the, the one and so that was machlok between Rabbi Zir and Rabbi Asi. Right? Rabbi Asi initially said that Dafka has to be the guy that does the chasima, 
And the so the other then he said Rabbi Zira said Rabbi Asi were next and said Rabbi Ami was the next. That can even be the two or one of the two to talk about the Ksivas. Now Rabbi Yochan is saying, what about the Fakir case? What about the Yapis case? We have one guy, one guy in the Chasima. I'm sorry, one guy in the Ksiva and two guys in the Chasima. Who's holding on right so Rabbi Yochan said the, the Chasima guy has to hold on to it. So we just said, what are you talking about? The Ksiva guys can hold on to it too. Yeah. And so the one said, well, well Rabbi Yochan's going like Rabbi Yassi, Rabbi Yassi, before he was Chasima. Right? That Dafka they ate of Chasima instead. Then the one is trying to say the second. Then the one is trying to give a way of making it work out that even if the even though the Krabi army have to renege, it's still going to work. In other words, uh, you still, in this case, will require the Chasima guys, one of the two Chasima guys, to hold on to it. So let me let me see if I, let me let me do, do a gears of change. Uh, not not before I do the gears of change. All right, my man, I feel him in the Chazer Be'asa. Even born to renege, it still works. Shani he. Okay, Siverstein, Chasimerstein, Zirchin, Siverstein, Chasimerstein. Now, here's where I'm going to change the gears and see if it works. Ksiva Bishnaim, and Kechem Yupe, and Kechem Yupe. Vichasima Bishnaim, and Kechem Yupe. If you have the Ksiva with two, remember we said that there's this whole thing of that actually the, the re- reason why the Fane Nechtam and the Fane Nechtam works is because Achieta Shunasa Achieta Shuget Isha. You have to know it's a get Isha, right? So therefore, if, if, if the Ksiva guy, if the, the two Ede Ksiva, if you have two guys on the Ksiva, no, if, I'm sorry, if you have two guys on the Chasi, two, two guys, yeah, two guys on the Ksiva, and one guy in the Chasima, so then, even if the two guys on the Ksiva are holding on to the get, that's okay. Why is that? Because how do we know it's a get? From the Ksiva. And they saw it was Nechta. So therefore, once we accept them on the Ksiva, and they're holding on to the get, so then uh, the, the, the Chasima guy, even though he's not holding on to the get, he tags along with them. And that would be okay. But if you're going, but in a case where there are two guys on the Chasima, right? The two guys on the Chasima, and only one guy in the Ksiva, right? So then, Adarabah, if you give it only to the one guy in the Ksiva, so the two guys are on the Chasima can't be Tophel to him, right? They can't be, so they can't ride on his coattails. They, uh, what makes them know it's a get? There aren't two people telling them it's a go. Now it works out very well. In a, let me let me start again from the other side and make it work out even better. And if the two guys, if the two guys on the ksiva and they're holding on to the get, so then says Rabbi Zira that works. Why? Because they're holding on to the get and they're telling us that they saw the get written. So they come and they vouch for to the chasima guy. You can tell us also. You can also ride on our coattails. We're aiding, and we saw ksiva again. So you you rely upon us. Right? And that works. But if you only have one guy in the Ksiva and two guys in the Chasima, they can't rely on him telling him it's a get because he's only an Eid Echot. Right? And he, uh, so therefore, even if he's only at the get, he's still only an Eid Echot. Right? So what if they need? They need to be holding on to the get. Because then they have the power of holding on to the get, which they give it to us and they say, this is the get which gives us the right to say before I nech them. Okay? So, when, again, when it's two people on the Ksiva, they don't have to hold on to the get. The two people testifying the Ksiva take the place of the get. Right? So they can even be holding on to the Quran Zero. But where they are the two people who are... They're, they're, where, where they're the two, where the other guy's the one, so the other one does them no good, they have to be holding on to the get itself. I think I think that works out well. Yeah, now you can ask a question. Um, the person I have to write this down while you're talking or write them. Just one second.
the first one says, on the next uh, on the next one, uh, watch it. Okay. Sorry. All right. Hello, Chavez. Next time I am next time I will. Next time I am. If the girl is written during the day and signed during the day, but I will be next time at night and signed at night. But I am next time I am was written at night and signed during the day. All these things are kosher. What's possible? By yom next time by I will possible. Signed during the written during the day and signed at night. It's possible. Rabbi Shimon Achshir. Rabbi Shimon says it's kosher even in this case. Okay, what's the Masharei Yar? We share Mer Kol Gidim Shiluch Bayom and Echlo Balayla Psulim Kutsi Yigite Noshi. We can't sign and get a document at night. Why is that? Because the night is already the next day, and ready that makes there's the whole shaila by Ksuvas. You know, when you write a Ksuva by a woman's chas, and that's why we're medactic. If the Ksuva is written before Shkia, we try to make the Chupa before Shkia, because because the idea is that uh, if you're we don't we don't want it to be. Uh, Otherwise, it's uh, the shibu. It's the shtar muktam, right? Right. And here, it's the opposite. Here, it's going to be well. Here, it's going to be. If it's, it's also shtar muktam, right? Because here, if you write it during the day, it's going to have today's date. If you only sign it at night, it's going to have tomorrow's. Tomorrow's. Uh, it's only vowed at night. So the shtar actually will have taken effect halachically, or it purports to have taken effect halachically before it actually did take effect. Yeah. So it's going to be goyva from the chosim shubarim too early. Rabbi Shimon says not a problem by gitin nashim. There won't be a problem. The Gemara is going to explain why. Amrei Yochanan says possible. Why is it possible? Nei achilas peros. Because because uh, you are going to uh, uh, the bowel has to stop eating peros from uh, uh, the bowel has to stop uh, selling the peros from the time that the get is uh, from the time the get is complete. Right, even before the gavishin, so that's why we need to. That's why it, it's uh, it, it, the uh, uh, it, what? Excuse me. Yeah, that's the thing. He has the rights to the payros from his wife's property. That stops when the get is complete. So therefore, the uh, the uh, uh, if the, uh, the get is written today and signed to, to tomorrow, it's possible because. It requires him to stop eating the perils earlier than he actually does. So it's really a Chosh Mishpat issue. So what are we going to do with Gidim which come with Chutzlitz? Maybe they were written during the day and, and signed at night. Now, in Maisa, we said uh, uh, in the beginning of the Masech, that's one of the reasons why we say Fane Nechtav, Fane Nechtav. Because Befane Nechtav Hayom, Bayom, Fane Nechtav, it was done the same day. But that's according to the sheet of that Enam Bekim, the Duke Gidden. But that was not Rabbi Yochan's sheet, that was Rabbi Lezer's sheet. Rabbi Yochan has the reason for a funny nechtam, a funny nechtam, at the beginning of the Masechta because of, um, because Ain Enam Mitsuyim Lakaimo, because you don't have witnesses around. So now he's asking him, right, Lashit Rascha, it shouldn't just be because of Ain Enam Mitsuyim Lakaimo, it should also be, be because of, of the problem of nechta ba yom and nechta ba laila, right? So that you should be moited to the other problem which we mentioned. I don't remember what it was. I think it was base and aleph and base, but somewhere back there. So hey, man, so says the Gemara. Our Moshe said, "No, very interesting answer." He said, "Ze ziufa mi davar acher." This is uh, that. Uh, oh, wait! I just have to explain. I don't understand how this line answers.
Forget that. Let me learn like the Mashbiach. I have both shutting aside more, but now I realize I don't understand how the request rebounds and the next line works out. The Mashbiach says that the Mashbiach says a more profound, a little more, not profound, a little more complicated shot. He says like this, he says, it really wants to change the word, the word Shem on the third line to Kamo. And then the way it reads like this, even don't change the words, the same way of learning. Just like Kamo Nechtabu Yom and Nechtabu Balayla. You should never allow any get written in Chutzlarts. Why? Because how do you know when to stop the Achilles Peros from? When, when's the effective date of the get? Right? Is it when it's, it's signed or is it when it's given over to the It should be when it's given over, right? So. No, I'm sorry. It should be, it should be when, it's, uh, when, when it's signed. But we don't know because who knows when. We don't know when it's signed. No, not when it's signed. It should be was. Uh, no, the reason why it should be a problem is because he can still abuse it. Because you can still pay us after he writes it. At the rabba. He has to start from the moment he writes it. But Rish Lakish says the problem is it's going to continue to pay us even after he writes it. What? Then the moment he writes it, not when he gives it to him. Even that time he has to start stop eating the payrolls. So my Rish Lakish question is if. He's not allowed to. The moment he returns to the get, that's it, or everything is over. He has to stop uh, acting as husband and wife, and that's going to be clear in a few lines. So that's that's a racial question. Much be the question is how come wherever Max you're getting the it's shaykh to abuse that the guy's the husband's going to eat the peros after he should have already given them up. So Rabbi Yohan said, "I'm going to say you for me davar He says. No, if the get is nechta bayom and nechta malay, it's inherently a psul. Because then your people are going to think Achilles pair stopped in the morning, whereas it really stopped at night, the following night. But if it's a get which comes from chutzlar, it's the get itself is not inherently psul. The husband can defraud his wife, but there's no problem in the get itself. So we're afraid about problems in the get itself, we're not afraid about problems of, uh, of the husband, uh, you know, defrauding. So I'm Rabbi Yochanan and said, Lom Rabbi Shimon Ela Belayla. Now Rabbi Yochanan, Rabbi Shimon said that night it's kosher. It's because it happens. The, the, and and, the, the, so, and uh, it's a continuation of the previous day. Avon Lomacha, but it's the next day after Rabbi Shimon, even Rabbi Shimon in Greece. Now Kormir says a very interesting idea. He says, you know why the next day, let's if the Aden, if they wrote the, 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 the get one day and they slept on it and signed the next day, it's possible because overnight he could have had relations with his wife. And if a husband has relations with his wife, it cancels the get. Again, not after the get is given, but if between the time the get is written, although that's also shy, we'll see later in the Masech, though it could be it does too. That's Beit Shammai holds it does. But if the get between, between the time that the get is written and the time the get is signed, he has relations with her, then that passes the get. So that's what we're afraid of, that if we leave it now, even though theoretically in our mission, he's a Chupsar, she's an Eretz throw, right? But nevertheless, we're afraid of such a scenario. Therefore, Rabbi Shimon would not have allowed it unless it's signed that night, but not if it's signed the next day. Okay? Rish Lakish says, no, Lamar Lo Shani, he lo he Makar, makes no difference if it's that night, it's the next day, he will come several days later. He's not conscious that they're going to have relations. Haidan, Haidan, who Lamar, what's the case of Lamar, which Rabbi Yochan said, which Rabbi Yochan says, the problem? One says, really, the next day, it's a rape problem. No, not the next day. We're not afraid he's going to have relations there so quickly. From the day after tomorrow. Okay? So, say, uh, Rabbi uh, uh, Rabbi Shimon. Now, the question is, what does Rabbi Yochan do with Rabbi Shimon? Rabbi Shimon says, it's okay. What about the, the problem that he might have relations there and cancel the get? So it's more actually a fascinating thing. Omar Rabbi Bobi Shem Razira Asher Rabbi Shimon Rabbi Boss is the name Rabbi Zira. The Rabbi Yochanan holds Rabbi Shimon holds Kabi Lozer. Now Rabbi Lozer holds what? 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 What are? Uh, which? Which are? Uh, which are the Adim? Adim Mesira. So actually, he won't pass. He'll get Yoshon. He'll say a get Yoshon is not a get anyway until the Mesira. So ever since it's not a get anyway till the Mesira. So that's why, Lamaisa, we don't care what happens afterwards. It's an amazing concept. 
If you hold that Eidei Chasimah are the issue, so then the get is inherently a problem if between the writing of the get and signing it, he had relations with her. Because that would cancel the, 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 the validity of the document. But if you hold what validates the document is anyway the Eidei Masira, so it's not, it's not, it's hard for me to, to describe this far. It's, it's a new concept to me. There, there is no point at which you can worry about that issue because once the get is handed over, that's, that's the get. Right. It only becomes a get when it's given over, and at that point it's already, it's, uh, it's, uh, right, we're not going to be concerned about any past history. So can he still eat Paris and tell him a sewer, according to Reverend Lazar? No. You wouldn't be able to eat Paris, but that's not integral to the get. That's a special halacha, that you're not allowed to eat Paris from the time you're ready to get. It's a halacha to Rabbanan. Nothing to do with rendering the get possible. Okay? So, Rabbi Shri Amir, Afu Pishen, Lavedim, Kosher. Amre Shmur, Achui, the Rabbi Brechia. Kam, Barot, So, Chas, Mo, Kam, Shir, So, Rabbi Shmur, So, Rabbi Shmur, Did I skip? Uh, uh, I did? So, if that's the case, so, um, uh, uh, so if that's the case, so what do we care how long he leaves the get? Because we have before, Rabbi Shimon said, if you leave it to, to the next day, See, before we had Rabbi Yehuda said, if it's that night, it's okay, but it's next day, it's not, it's a problem, even according to Rabbi Shimon. So how come? If we line eight and Masira, and that's why it's kosher even that night. So what do we, so why can't leave it over, why can't you leave it over to the next day? So it depends. So it says, Gemara, uh, 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 I'm Rabbi Shul Barah Chui, the Rabbi Brecha, Kam Barotzo Chosmo, Kam Shein Rotzo Chosmo. If you don't want eight and to sign on it, then you can just leave it forever. You, you, I, it not forever, obviously, but you can leave. There's no problem how long you leave the get unsigned. Because you're not going to ever sign it. And we're not afraid that you're going to have relations with your wife in the meantime because it won't cancel the get. But if you do want to consummate him, then even Rabbi Shimon agrees, you, you, we can't leave it till the next day. Because by that time, we're afraid you'll have had relations with your wife. Hi, chasmi, hi, eidim, sir, kati. Yes, but if you do eidim chasima as well, then you have to make sure they're done properly. If you, if you had it, if you wrote her, it was written already. Yeah. And then, and then before the signing. Yeah. And you had relations. Yeah. Then it's. Apostles. Right. But not Shimon. Because Rabbi Shimon knows you don't have to sign a get. No. They didn't see a card to you. You only need the witnesses who see it given over. Isn't Rabbi Shimon afraid that uh, the foul may use this as a, as a leverage, you know, as a threat to the wife? I have the get written out for you, and better watch yourself or else I'll sign. And probably not, because most get, even according to Rabbi Shimon, they would sign. So therefore, even though theoretically Adam is here, Karthi... One of the reasons why you have to sign it. Right. Away. So, so, so even, according, even though normally Adam is here, even though I'll strictly speak of Adam is here, Karthi, but I they probably sign most kids. But theoretically, right, it could be a problem. Amma Asar Chismu begets there. That was the case we had earlier tonight. Amma Asar Chismu begets there. He told ten people sign this get. Some sign today and some sign the next day. So Rabbi Shimon, Ben Lucky said it's okay. Kosher. But Shalat and I hide that we're not supposed to aid him, we're not supposed to sign the next day. The rest of them like, said like a condition. The get was already valid. The rest of them are need to be signed just in technicality. They can sign the next day. Rabbi Yolan and Amar Pasa, Rabbi Yolan said, it's Pasa, it's Shiachim, Kulam, Bovayom. They all must sign the same day because they're all part of, integral part of being making the get kosher. So Rabbi Yaakov, Rabbi Shem, Rabbi Shem, Rabbi Levi said, Maisa, Be'achol, is the Maisa of the individual. Shalom, Allah, Sarah, he said, Tebi, Bechitz, Mubaget. Some uh, some sign today, some sign next day. So I saw the Kumar Rabbana, so it came in front of the rabbis what the Paskin, and then the rabbis argued the Kashrin. Some people said it's okay. For caution, some people suspected it's no good. Right? Hard does those now the few words missing in the marsh we have changes so it's very choppy. But I'll just say it outside. Hard does those who suspected that the get is no good, Messiah Rabbi Yochna, right? They're like Rabbi Yochan. And that's also in the Rabbana. It's like Rabbana and our Mishnah, right? Because Rabbana and Mishnah says you can't sign a get the next night, right? 
Goes, however, said it's kosher. I'm a plea later, Rabbi Shimon, and those argue, uh, uh, and that argues Rabbi Shimon, that argues Rabbi Shimon. And now those who said it's kosher, hada misayil Rabbi Shimon, look at Rabbi Shimon, look at who said they're conditional. And mean the Rabbi Shimon, and that's like Rabbi Shimon, our Mishnah says, at least that night you can sign it. Who plead a later Rabbanan that argues on the Rabbanan, the Rabbanan who say that you can't sign any later at all, no matter what the circumstances. Okay, we'll stop here for this evening. Dr. Laura had a call with me. A woman is.